Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Earthbound. In the last part, we flew back here, uh, from, uh, Thre Threed, uh, to get here to Winters, using the Skyrunner here. And we're gonna have Fly to Summers in this part, so yeah. Um, I think that's really it, really. We just, you know, flew from, uh, Threed to Winters, using the Skyrunner. So yeah, let's go, um, I think we have to talk to Jeff's dad, actually. There we go, okay, oh, nest, just... Jeff, that's been, okay, yeah. Hmm, looks like you found something out. I finished, oh yeah, he's finished remodeling the Skyrunner. You can leave for summers wherever you wish. I shouldn't break, it shouldn't break this time. Well, maybe. You're not too sure about that, are you? Yeah, we just walk up to it and go in. Yeah. And we're basically done in winters. We've done everything in winters. So I don't think we have to go back, come back here for anything. So on to summers we go into the Skyrunner. Yeah, it's slowly making its ascent into the air. And we're gonna go to a much warmer place because, you know, summer is warmer than winter, honest, honestly, in seasons, season wise. So, you know, summers will be way warmer than winters in this case. We're in the clouds. It's awesome. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I got those sailboats. Hehe. <laughs> oh, look, we're at a beach. How nice. That's awesome. Oh man. I got all those beach chairs. Oh no, this can't be good. No. Don't do this again, you Skyrunner. No. Yeah, it kind of just exploded again when it hit the ground. It kind of got wrecked. <laughs> okay, let's talk to you. The guy next to me is really bugging me. He keeps following me around. Um, wake up this morning. Wake up in the morning, fall in love. Eat lunch, fall in love. At night, fall in love. And at night, fall up again. That's my dream life. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, the um, bikini girl from my three who actually am ambushed, um, Ness and Paula and kind of set up an ambush. She's right here. She says, don't talk to me. My mind is, complete, is a complete blank. Yeah. It's up to you. Uh, are you are you from Eagleland? If you like adventure, this isn't your kind of place. You should travel across the sea to Scarb Scaraba from Toto, the port town. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, I'm gonna buy this, this guy sells gelato, I believe. Yeah, we'll get, we got some particular things. What would you like? Yeah, $49 for gelato de resort. Okay, yeah, um, who's gonna carry it? Let's give Paul to Paul, I guess. Thank you so much, yeah. No, I would like, no, I don't wanna buy more. Yeah, things in, uh, summers is really expensive. I just thought the gelato is like $49. Yeah, oh, here's a car. Enemy. Okay. And it, oh my goodness. Space bash bash and shoot on the sign. Oh my gosh, this is not what I need. This is not. No! No pearls? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. That's so stupid. I don't wanna. I don't wanna deal with a freaking battle right now, honestly. I just don't. If the sign wasn't part of this battle, I could have probably just instant killed the crazy taxi or whatever. But since the sign was in the equation, it messed it all up. Okay, so, um... Peace, I fire bait, I guess. Yeah. Gosh, Paul's crying now, you suck. Okay, yeah. I didn't really want to run into battle in this part because I don't think I really need to. I didn't need the number of experience, but at this point I really don't care. So, um, let's see. There's gotta be something there. There's a hospital. Okay, cool. I have to talk to the healer. Yeah, okay. Yes, and you have to restore feeling. Yes, it's fine. On oh, Ness. Nice. There we go, thank you so much. Hopefully we don't run into any more stupid enemies. Cause I'd be livid. I'd be livid. Okay. 
No. Oh my. No, I, I'm gonna run away from this battle because I don't want to deal with these stupid things. Come on. No. I don't want to run into these stupid enemies. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna keep on trying to freaking run away. Come on, gotta run away. Good. My phone got. There's my phone. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, let's go to the shop, I guess. We gotta upgrade some of our equipment. Go to the time machine, please. Withdraw. $40,000. Okay, cool. Welcome to my store. Um, let's uh, sell to. Oh, this has a. Everyone has a free spot in their inventory. Okay. Yes. Bye. Okay. Um. Big league bat, I guess. Just gonna carry it. Ness. Right here. Yes. Ness's offense went from 119 to 135. By Mr. Baseball Buffer. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. There's still more. Bye. Um. Lucky coin. Let's get carry it. Let's give one to Ness. Let's go here. His defense went up to 109 to 119. So went up by 10. Awesome. Yeah, let's sell a coin of defense for thousand dollars. Yes, there's still stuff we want to do. Lucky coin. Good carry. Yeah, let's give it to Paula. Here, yes. Paula's defense went from 100 to 103. By Mr. Sound coin for 500 dollars. Yes. Yes, there's still more I want to do. Lucky coin. Let's give this one to Jeff. There we go. This Jeff has defense one hundred nine hundred nineteen. You can buy a coin of defense for a thousand dollars. Yes. And there's one last thing I want to buy. Is there anything else? Yes. Okay. Buy. I want to buy the diamond band. The diamond band. Yeah. Let's go carry it. Let's go with that to Paula. Here. Yes. Paula's defense one hundred three to one hundred three to one hundred thirteen. Buy a platinum band for one thousand nine hundred forty nine dollars. Yes. Hey, uh, it's nice doing business with you. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so it's, no, I don't want to withdraw. I don't want to withdraw. I click too fast. Deposit. Okay, let's. No, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to check. Or press R or L, I mean. And we gotta. $400, dollars $500, $600. Let's withdraw off 200 more dollars just in case. Withdraw just to, so I have like 416 then. Okay, there we go, nice, cool. We got this. Okay. I can actually talk to this guy in the car actually, so it's pretty cool. Hey, hey, stop putting your grimy fingerprints all over my car, you little punk. <laughs> yeah, let's go to um the hotel, which is actually to the left. I think this summer is just one line, one ver uh, horizontal line of uh, uh just um, a bit anyway, really. Oh, look, the guy who's spinning and will fall from the sky and spin is going to take our picture again. You can actually avoid this, uh, this occurrence like him running into you this time if you use PSI teleport right when you're in front of the door of the hotel like right the street path into the entry entrance basically of the hotel but I just want I, I don't know he can just do his thing pictures taken instantaneously I'm a photograph genius if I do say so myself okay get ready for an instant memory look at the camera ready say fuzzy pickles fuzzy pickles nice wow what a great photograph it'll always bring back the fondest of memories yeah, I wonder if he gets tired of spinning when he falls out of the sky. I don't know. Actually, at this hotel, you actually have a payphone, really. So it's not like a free um phone that's called like the receiver, I guess. So let's talk to this guy. Welcome to La Ho Ho La Hotel des Summers. My name is Rosan Richmond. Um, and I'm the assistant manager. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid that we don't have any more any reservation under your name. However, you. Uh, we can offer you a room for four hundred fifty dollars a night, which means you should. I'm too. I'm too. Oh, I don't have enough money. That's too bad, Suki. So yeah, okay, whatever. I don't just don't have enough money. I don't remember. I forgot that it was four hundred fifty dollars. Apparently, 
for one stay. 200 more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Now let's try this again. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna skip to the dialogue this time because I already read it. <laughs> Sucker. Yes, okay. Excellent choice, sir. We hope to enjoy your uh, wonderful ocean view. Awesome. This is a nice hotel, though. I think I have $116 left still. $166 left. Cool. Okay, ah, uh, sir, are you ready? To, are you already on your way to the beach? Uh, I think I missed for that. Here is uh, this morning's headlines for the daily summers. People report missing one after another in our sister city winters. I was just there, really. <laughs> Don't get too excited about this town. It's a tourist trip. Everything seems to be nice, but they're just doing it for the money. I know from experience. Yeah, the, everything's just so expensive in this game. Or not, not at this in this place. It's like everything's really overpriced and stuff. So that's what they mean by like a tourist trap. It's because it's nice and all, but it's really expensive for the tourists here. Like you have to spend a lot of money to get stuff that gets overpriced, really. Um, I can't believe you pronounce hotel as hotel. In my country, hotel pronounced hotel. What? So then, in your country, this other, uh, this otter pronounced as otter? So then, in your country, is otter pronounced as hotter oh should I know these things how should I know these I don't even know he's weird let's just make our way back down to the front to the lobby of the hotel okay let's see let's see I heard a security guard in the Skabura Culture Museum isn't very nice but he can be but he can be he can be helpful okay excuse me <laughs> Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna part right here though. Things like we have to go to the Scrabe or something. Or the museum. So we'll get to that next part hopefully. So this has been another my Earth Balance report. The next part we'll just do that. Where we go explore some more of summers. Hopefully get to the next area. I don't know. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to thank for again goodbye and hope to see you guys next time my Earthbound Let's Play.